Hello, this is Gorn Fan 291 bringing you another race in the Doritos NHL series. Alongside me today is Stephen Paul III, aka Time Card 100. How are you doing, Stephen? Doing good, Charles. How are you doing? I'm doing good. We had just recorded the uh, FedEx Cup Series race, and now we're recording this one. Yep. <laughs> On the poll today is not Mark Matthews, but actually Harrison Buckeye. Nick Nauman, Zach Buchanan, row two. Dom Caps, Kyle Austin, row three. Daniel Day and Cody Moore, row four. Kevin White and Lily Murphy, row five. And here is the home car, I guess, if you want to call it that, for today's race. Stephen Pollard III in the Boston Bruins car. Yeah. Maybe he can end the streak of bad luck for the hometown cars. Drivers, oh. start your engines! As there was your command. Looks like maybe a female pace car driver today. <laughs> Either way, we're here for 50 laps at Boston. Uh, Steven, you are from Boston, so uh, tell me, how does this track normally race for you guys? Oh, this is one of my favorite. Well, I live in Massachusetts, but I don't live in Boston. But um, this is a great race track. It's a really fun side-by-side -side battle. It's multi-groove, 1.17 miles. It's going to be a great race here today. Now, what do you expect out of the race today? Three and four wide racing, a wreck, and somebody again that wall, some tempers are going to flare. Oh, boy, we've had tempers flare in another series. This should be interesting then. As you see, the pace car is pulling off that slick Camaro, and the field is under the control of Harrison Buckeye. I live 45 minutes away from this racetrack, and now we're going green flag here. You heard it, the hometown boy starting 11th place today. Oh, wow, Ari was three wide by the 04 of the uh, Nile, man. Oh, wow. So already three wide just going into turn number one. Here comes Nick Nileman, though. The 04, yeah. Oh, oh right, right no! there. In the wall, hard. And then they keep it straight, it. they keep it straight. Still green. Oh, it's a great job by everybody to avoid that. Holy crap. I can't tell there's the lights on in the pace car now. No, it doesn't look like it. Six has got heavy damage, though. That was a tough shot in that wall. Looks like 99 might have gotten some damage as well. So definitely six had to pit road and a, maybe an early exit for that driver. See right here, that Nile man took great advantage of that. As everybody wrecked behind him, he took a big lead here. Oh yeah, look at that. Already almost half a second, but can Buchanan close in this lap? Right, well, yeah, I wrecked you. I mean, they were they were racing hard here. <laughs> I know, right? I believe that was Buchanan that actually got into the six, who then got into the five. At least we know it's not going to be Oriole Pollock pitting this time, but. Uh, Matthews did make it to pit road. Already one lap down. And looks like Buchanan now trying to reel him in right now, and the pack is kind of falling back. Paul it up to fifth right here. Yeah, hometown boy making the, some moves today. Uh, you also got Steve Paul it up in the top ten, I see. And your pole sitter's back to eighth. Gap kind right of here. steady here at three tenths of a second. Yeah, as we see everybody battling here. And hold on a minute. Oh, look at who missed me a pass for third. He's coming, boys. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Paul gets to the third now. Here he comes. That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. No battle up front. No battle for third. And here comes last week's winner, Brian James. He's into fourth now. And it got kind of steady right here. Right around the three-tenths of the second mark. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I had to talk to my mother right there. Uh, that's, that's okay. <laughs> As you see right here, Pollock really wants to reel him in, and I really want to win. I'm going to want to race here at Boston, so 
I think if I win, I think you might hear a big. Yeah, I stayed scream. the same that lap for Pollard. I can ask you when I think I'm not coming out of the booth and start celebrating. <laughs> Uh, looks like Brian James might be closing in on him. Uh, he closed in on second, though, that lap. Only thing I'm afraid of those Canadians. Uh, let's see where those Canadians are. Back in 18th. Uh, no, I'm not afraid anymore. Uh, it looks like a steady uh, single line here. It looks like my Kentucky race. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't end up being that way. Well, there is battles. Oh! Oh, oh no! The, there we go. There we go. And somebody's gonna pile into that wall. How the hell are we still green? And they're not gonna oh! make it. I know. Oh, we. Oh crap! Oil. I alone. think you jinxed on that one. Oh! Uh, holy shit! Gosh! <laughs> he died. Oh my god! That was that was a. Holy shit! <laughs> I'm speechless, oh, folks. I'm just absolutely speechless. <laughs> oh, we'll yeah, look to see if they pit during the car. Oh, they are pitting! Oh my god! Come on, two tires stop for us. <laughs> oh I don't god. think you have to worry about four tires stopping. You could still come out fourth. Look at how far back fifth is. Oh my god. Ah, it looks pitiful. Oh my. I, I think Jeff James is fine. Okay. I, I, Someone stayed out. No, that's Matthews. Okay, never mind. Buchanan first. Looks like Pollard's going to be second. Looks like that 04 got some damage right there on that rock. He might have. Brian James, Nick Nauman. Bad shit pissed off for Nauman there as he loses the lead there to uh, Buchanan and Pollard. Um, see, Jeff James has retired. We're going to take you back to see that horrific wreck one more time. And we're back. You saw it live. Here was where the wreck starts. Mike Wagner gets into Cody Moore, pushes down into Oreo Pollard. It's like and it looked like they had it saved here. It looked like they had it saved, but then just chaos. Chaos is still. We lost about the whole back of the pack, and it looks like those three guys tried to. Holy crap! Now, Silver Fox ends up hitting him at 115 miles an hour, not in the driver's door, luckily. Well, it looks uh, like those three try to be like the. um. Grass cutters for Boston, and uh, it did not work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's quickly ride on board with Henry Buckeye, see what he saw. Um, I'll stay silent through this. You already see him down here. Uh, see if Henry Buckeye makes it. Nope. I find it funny that both the Buffalo Sabres and Toronto Blue Jays cars get involved in this. Oh, ooh, that would be a nice oh, onboard. I want to see this 18 going flying. <laughs> oh, that's really fun, jarring. Even for a short track. Oh. Uh, the, the 18 both, had the best view with it. <laughs> the rival cars actually got involved in this. Uh, who'd you say you want to see an onboard with? Who'd you say you wanted to see an onboard with? 18. Maybe you okay, Go ahead and onboard with the 18. I'm fighting on the air. I want those stuff to keep the car right in <laughs> Maybe that's why he got involved. Oh, oh hi, it's in the air. <laughs> uh, we'll take you back to the green flag. Uh, who. It was Buchanan that won the race up in the right? he beat Nile, man. Cry, Florida. The back bumpers are racist. Oh! Yeah, did Nile win going maybe get into him? You said you saw maybe some damage. Let's see. 
No, oh, we'll take double. you back to live action. And we're back. You see Mark Matthews, one lap down, top five rundown, Zach Buchanan, Stephen Paul the third, Brian James, Nick Nauman, and Kevin White. Uh, guys retired, I believe it will be... Oh, actually, Matthews is three down. Austin... Actually, we'll just update you on a later time. <laughs> ah, we missed the green flag completely, that's why. <laughs> yeah, we missed it by about a couple laps. <laughs> green flag, though. <laughs> Well, that lap car is going to become a problem right here. Well, it wasn't a problem for the top four. Uh, Kevin White cleared him. Here comes Brian James is inside for second. Damn, those New Yorkers are trying to pass Boston. Hey, <laughs> I'll see you. I'll bye. Yes, the New Yorker in the Nashville Predators car. Oh, yeah. Oh, great, the Predators. <laughs> Meanwhile, here comes oh. Nauman. He's coming inside for a second now. The Tampa Bay Lightning, the 04 champs. 04. Okay, this is, that is from 2010. Let's note you. Some of the champions might be wrong on here. All we know is uh, the numbers were kind of decided by championship or champions, and I don't know why the single digit, digit numbers came up, so. <laughs> Well, I do know I do know Oreo Paul at 67. The LA Kings did not win the title. Won the title in 67, but he did win the title last year. Well, and now they're making some moves. He's up to fifth. Here comes Nauman inside for the lead. I man, he's got a hell of a vehicle. And he's in. He's clear. The Chevy to the front. Chevy, Ford, and Dodge the top three. All the way down to eighth. Had a horrible restart there. Yeah, and your pole setter back up to fourth, Harrison Buckeye. Uh, number 96, Colorado Avalanche car. Uh, looks like Nauman's got a really good car here today. He's able to pull away from Buchanan. Once again, three tenths of a second. I think they're all going to start single firing out here because. I uh, hope not. Because, uh, yeah, it looks like everybody is because uh, all that huge wreck took out a lot of cars and, uh. Oh wait, we have two battles in the back to pack. <laughs> Orioles off the page. Damn it. Yeah, at least he's 20th though. I think that might be his best finish of the year outside the double headers. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to have to start giving gluten free Orioles soon. Yeah, I, don't know why I, don't, I don't know if I always get quiet when I say that, but anyway. Um, well, here's the main battle on the track right now. It's the battle for second. Zach Buchanan and Kevin White. Ford versus Dodge for second. They're half a second behind the race leader, though. See here, this really not half. I'm sorry, folks. This really is unexpected. I'm really surprised by this, because any other race I've done here has been very exciting. Well, the other other races do have 42 cars. We only got 30 teams here. Good point. Got battle for fourth. Harrison Buckeye and Will Goss. Let's give him a few laps. We'll stop battling. And he's cleared. Will Goss to fourth. These guys are nearly a second back of the leader. Oh gosh. Nick Nauman in his own zip code right now. Well, Three fourths of a second back for Zach Buchanan. Kevin White's like, let me through, I am faster than you. He almost put the bumper to Zach Buchanan, showing him what's good almost. The, the Florida Panthers wanted to get up to their rival, maybe show them that they don't suck. <laughs> Well, he's not, well, the only thing that would hurt more to me is the Canadian You'll have him clear coming off this corner here. only thing that would hurt that's more bad is the Canadian feeling at Boston. <laughs> uh, well, you're still in the top 10, and I... Let's see, the Canadian's car is running 21st. Oh, never mind. One lap down. Well, never mind that, too. Kevin White now a second back. Can he close in now that he's actually gone away from Zach Buchanan, though? Uh, no, he can, but 
as you see it really not shaping up to be a great finish as Harrison Ball oh as Diamond uh, got like a good card and we got a battle for a fifth. Well, the way you gotta look at it, I guess the best car is winning today and looks like will win, so. At least it's not like a Kyle Bush domination. Oh, uh, it depends if they're gonna pit. If they stop pitting, oh god. And Paul, or something happened to Paul would start, because he is all the way out of the top 10 right now. Uh, looking back. Looking for him. There's Steve Pollard. Who's got the wall? Steve got the wall. Oh, crap. Oh, oh. Jeffrey Buckeye. Oh, that was Rex the Canadian car, I believe that was. 16th for Steven. It looks like he might have gone the fence. Oh, something must have happened because he was second on the restart. 17th now. We're trying to get a look at the right side of that number 28, Boston Bruins Ford. I don't know. Maybe Oreo put some Oreos in the engine or something. That's a horrible there. Looking at it. it. Looks like it could have been indented a little bit. So maybe Steven got the wall. Oh god, they're almost going. I mean, we might have to. We only have like um, 21 cars left out of the 30 left, so. Oh, uh, there's 22 on the track, but only 20 of them are on the lead lap. Kevin, what? I mean, Nile, man, he, he is putting on the afterburners today. He, he is, is showing. A yeah, he is definitely showing a clinic right now. 22.26. A 22.26 was his last lap to Kevin White's 22.43. He's over two tenths faster than. Looks like maybe anyone else on the track. And nobody's battling in the top 12, and they didn't have a battle back here for a priceless position. Look at this. No one even close. No one's within, like, a tenth of them. Well, now, actually, they are within a tenth, so... Looks like maybe Nyman's car is better on the short run, but as these long, as this run will get longer, they'll close into them. So look, 22.43, a 22.47. It's gained to five tenths out right now there. Towards the back of this path. He gained like five tenths right there on the uh, one car, even though he, they one ran a fast lap at Kevin White. Looks like the strategy maybe for the Tamp the Tampa Bay Lightning the o on the 04 crew get a good single uh, uh restart car, get a fast restart car to where you can go and have a big lead by the time these well actually whoa twenty two sixty. I was just saying these guys were bouncing out a little bit, but now it's back up to, now it's almost three tenths of a second faster. I need to go find my shoe and I need to throw it in the middle of the racetrack to bring out a caution here or something. Uh, maybe. Some guys that probably needed some good runs running up front though. Uh, Kevin White I think is borderline in the top eight. I know Zach Buchanan I think, Zach Buchanan's up in the top eight in the Western Conference, but towards the bottom of it. Jake Williams, I don't think, is in the top eight in his conference. Will Goss didn't need any good run. He's just fine. Charles Sanford now in the top eight. Um, Jerry Murphy, I think, had a rough year as well. Is that damage to the back into that 88 car? Uh, I can't really tell. He's in battle up there for kind of, you know. A little bit of an indent. It looked like maybe on the just in the center where it has the board. Oh, somebody in the wall there. Uh, that was Brian James, it looks like. That was at least close to it. But yeah, a little bit of an indent where it says Fusion on that car. Now looking through the pack, see where your driver is running right now. Oh, God, 19. The Canadians are about to catch us. On the bright side, that's not for position, but still, I know you wouldn't want to see him pass you either. Yes. Yeah. Oh God! That is not oh, ridiculous. leaders are catching up. Nauman might have to deal with uh, Oreo Pollard before this race is over. Well, I think I think I'd have to tell Oreo to throw some Oreos at him to make this race a little more exciting. Mark Matthews has gone a lap down, and it's almost three seconds. Three seconds. The gap from first to second. <laughs> Something definitely on that old four car that's illegal. Uh, officials will definitely take a look at it. Uh, who knows? All the ratings are equal, so just a really good setup, it looks like, on that old four car today. 
Only half a bird than one 2268, there. a 2287. Tires are really falling off. They're over a second off of their fast laps of the day, folks. If anybody tries the pit, then this race will get interesting. As well. Zach began right behind him. That would definitely make it interesting. Uh, not sure if they can make it the rest of the way because they did pit on lap, uh, what was it, like three or something? Yeah. Oh, you know, nylon has got the best car in this race. We're gonna, they just got a lap car right there. Oh, wait. Kevin White will get past Matthews pretty cleanly. Uh, the interesting fact will be, will Buchanan and Williams, Buchanan's pass. Might as well just watch the lap car go through the field here, pretty much. Give you a through the field via the lap car. Oh, we should see a boy that's caught the leader. <laughs> no, but he's on the same straightaway. That's gonna get good. And Paul, something happened with Paul. I don't know what the hell happened. This car second to 19. That's horrible. Yeah, there is damage. Oh god, this is going to be good. Captain Ray, yeah. 175 going into that corner. Let's see how fast Nauman gets into that corner. Oh, Oreo, oh. Oreo's a dummy, so he might throw a block 179. here. 179. Oh, oh, he's right, throw a block. Yeah, but he's going to catch him in the wrong place. Oh, okay, nope. god. Come right in the right spot. Five laps to go for Nick Nauman. Has had the dominant car all day. Williams has gone past Buchanan for third. Wow, that was the first battle I've seen in the top five in like the past 30 laps. Like I said, we'll just watch we'll just watch the lap car go through the field pretty much. Uh, looks like maybe Mark Matthews was down a, is down a cylinder. Uh, haven't got an official word down on pit road on why uh, that car is so much slower right now. Most exciting battle on the race track is they're trying to pass the lap car, can't even go to the corner. <laughs> Pretty much. Doesn't that... Well, actually, well, I was going to say, it looked like he was looking in... Uh, Sanford was looking inside, but... And here comes Murphy, Joey Murphy to the inside of the six. Dom Katz to the inside of the six, almost. Meanwhile, there's three laps to go, and it's a four and a half second lead for Nick Nauman. Yeah, um, it looks like there might be some <laughs> star ratings, but I don't think Pollard's gonna go a lap down though. I really don't. So he won't have to worry about being passed by a really murky fourth position. As we're about to turn to the final lap of this. Atrocity here. Meanwhile, Nick Nauman is on the final lap. We'll just say now, congrats to Nick Nauman. You had the fastest car all day. Um, meanwhile, officials will be looking at your car. There's second and Almost battle for third as they came to the line. Charles Sanford got past Will Goss for fifth. Good timing. Hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. my part, I didn't even realize that the... Guy stopped waiting the flag. But here are your finishing results. No uh, fuel for Mike Wagner. Nick Nauman, Kevin White, Jake Williams, Zach Buchanan, Charles Sanford, Will Goss, Joey Murphy, Dom Caps, Jeffrey Buckeye, and Henry Sanford, the top 10. Uh, while I export this, go ahead and give me your thoughts on today's uh, bore fest. One rock, crash, oh. and we suck. On my part. Not to run the Boston Bruins here today, but um, I guess the curse of the home track continued. It looks like today. Looks like Oriole Paul cannot get a break. 
again. Although I still think that that's the best of the non. Uh, Non double header races. Uh, we don't know. Ex I don't know exactly what race five will be. I've been using random.org to figure out which track to use next. I just have one question How can you retire with no fuel? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they couldn't get the fuel in the car. I don't know. As you see, your retirees today. Oh, Cody Moore's going to take a hit. I believe he came in leading the Western Conference today. God, we won't even be leaving. We'll probably be laughed after this. Uh, I think he's built up enough of a cushion where he won't have to worry about that. But well, this has been the Doritos NHL series. Hopefully, we don't have a boar fest again next week. Goran Fan two nine one, alongside Stephen Paul third. Say goodbye, Stephen. All right, um, thank, um, glad I can have you, and I'll be back at Martinsville. Yes, you will. See you guys.